Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now today, after five and a half years, 20,000 followers, I would say that this is definitely one of the highest points of my time here on YouTube, and that is looking into the XPod 2 from Code of Bell. This has won so many different reward, different awards from so many different experts within the EDC, within the bag kind of community. But what makes this special? Why is this different to any other crossbody bag, any other waste bag that's out there? Is there some sort of strange witchcraft that's happened to this? Have they deceived the entire industry and put out some sort of snake oil? Well, I mean, in short, the answer is no. This is an absolutely amazing pack. And this is what we're here today to look at. So let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the Code of Bell X-Pod 2. Small, by the way there's a few different sizes of this. This is the small version. Now before we go on, I do apologize. There are some young, very vocal puppies walking around my woods today and young dogs will do as they do and they're very dark, barky in the background. So I do apologize if you can hear them. Uh, now, getting back into the pack itself, let's have a look at some of the witchcraft that Code of Bell have put into this. Uh, as we usually do, we'll start looking at some measurements, uh, some materials, and then we will have a look around some of the, the actual features of the pack. As far as your measurements are concerned, it comes in at 100, sorry, 350 millimeters by 130 millimeters by 50 millimeters deep. As it stands, as it currently is here, this is 2.3 litres. You'll hear me talking about this plus expanded. This will expand up to uh, 7 litres. The, the measurements, especially 350 by 130, stay the same, but instead of being 50 millimetres deep, uh, it can expand out to 160 millimetres. So there's a lot or if needs be, there's a lot less that you can put in this and this will grow and shrink depending on what you want to fit into it. That's huge. The fact that you can, I mean, you'll, you'll see what I've got in here now, but if I wanted to add more to this, or if I wanted to add less to this, I can ratchet some of this down and make this very, very slim line and keep it very close to my body. One of the huge things that I always say, especially traveling throughout the world, is situational awareness is key, especially if you know you're concerned about things that are people that are close to you. Part of that situational awareness is the volume of whatever it is that you're carrying. If you can make this smaller, or if you know that it's bigger and you're aware of that, then you can judge how people are and they are standing around you, which is very important. This does that exceptionally well. Uh, now, materials-wise, every single piece of material on this it's top notch. It really, it really is top notch. Um, they are all high end material. Starting off with the zips, all of the zips are YKK Aquaguard zips. Um, so, so there are, there's there's two that you can see here. There is an additional one which we'll have a look at. Um, so all of these into your main compartments, especially if this is a section maybe where, like on this one, you want to put your mobile phone. Your mobile phone will just slip into there with ease. Um, they all have these really nice Aquaguard zips. All of the zip pull on here which is a beautiful attention to detail uh, so these are made with a hyperlon style material these have all been laser cut um, and um, yeah it's a, it says it says code of bell on them but they're very subtle I'd say the branding on this it's not one of these in your face hey look at me I'm one of these brands um, which I like. I think that I think there's a humility to a company that, that can subtly put their branding onto a pack instead. If you didn't like these though, you're like, hey Coda Bell, don't force your zip pulls on me. How dare you? You can totally take these off. So these just kind of pull through here uh, and then they'll then, then they'll pull around there. So if there is something that you want to put on instead, then you if you have your favorite zipper pulls, then you can put those on there. There are some additional, so I, I know I said all of the zips, so there actually are some other zips on here. So there's, there's, there's a back panel here and then there's these small kind of little panels that have a little bug climbing on that. Um, so these aren't the AquaGuard ones, but because these are a little bit smaller and a little bit more out of the way, they're designed to be a little bit more discreet. Um, these use the, uh, the YKK RC style zippers uh, and they're also reversed stitched on there as well to make sure that you don't get any dust and debris in there. Um, but I think again, it, it's really designed so that they're a little bit more 
kind of minimal looking um, so that you can hide extra little bits in here. On the outside, so the material that this is made from is very similar to X-Pack material. In fact, when you look at it, you would assume that it, that it is an X-Pack, but it's not. So it, it has similar properties, the hydrostatic properties on here. It also has um, a DWR coating. I have had this out in the rain here in the UK at the moment. Well, it's it's typical April. We have April showers. It's a very it's a very showery month, um, and it came early this year. It started pretty much halfway through March, so I've been out, had no issues with it. Whatever water that kind of gets onto this just just completely beads off. Uh, also, the way in which this is manufactured for the people out there that are a little bit more kind of eco conscious, um, it's 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 manufactured in such a way that is better for the environment as well, which again is is uh, is, is nice to see. I believe part of this is also made from a recycled material as well uh, that, that, that adds into it but it does have it does have that kind of diamond ripstop that you expect with X-Pack but then there is also an additional square ripstop on the outside of that as well which I love the aesthetic with this this is the all black version there are three or four different colors I believe mainly it comes down to whatever is on this expandable part here at the front uh, the rest of it has subtle accents of those colors uh, but it's mainly this front part but having this all black kind of murdered out look to it I think looks killer all of your buckles, so the buckles are um, Wujin buckles, which again is nice. I'm a big promoter here of Wujin buckles here on Moreland Reader Sea. I think they're great. People are like, oh no, it's got to be Duraflex. No, I I've not had any issues whatsoever. So I've got a fly on my nose. I've not had any issues with um, with Wujin buckles at all. And there is also a, 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 a Fitlock um, magnetic one on here, which is just, I mean, it's just sexy as hell. Fitlock are are awesome. Anyway, so where was I? On the back, the extra other material that is on here, it's like a neoprene wetsuit style material. Uh, this is the part that will be closest to you at all times. Uh, so it does a very good job with sweat management and the fact that it doesn't absorb a lot of that moisture, which is uh, which which is great. All of the stitching is reinforced. You have this nice webbing on the stitching. Uh, I think it might be the same webbing that's used here, but and all of this stitching is absolutely immaculate on here. Now I've talked a lot about measurements and and the materials on here a little bit more so than usual however i think that it really is important with this just to show that extra attention to detail that code of bell put into uh, have put into the x pod too small okay now actually starting to look around some of the features themselves so um, by the way, so all of the zips are, are into the main compartments are ambi open, so meaning the fact that whether you're a lefty or a righty, so I'm kind of left-handed, but I'm not really. My mum dropped me when I was young and broke my brain, uh, so I carry it. So I, I carry it. So it's it's left-hand orientated, which means that I prefer to have both of my zips on this side so that I can pull it open that way. Whereas if you're right-hand orientated, you might want to have it this way so that you can pull it to open. Um, but as every manufacturer should do, these are ambi open so that you can get in from either side. So I can pull this section open just open it a little bit wider for you then and then you get uh, your opening into uh, a quick access panel in here now I've already showed you my mobile phone will fit in here this uh, that is a uh, pixel 6 I think it is Google pixel 6 and it fits in perfectly uh, in this back panel uh, there you can see you've got your X-Pack logo on there. Um, now I mentioned the front being slightly different, I, I, I suppose to, to add to that. It's all within that X-Pack family. It's just a different variety of X-Pack. Uh, and then there is also a Cordura logo on there as well because the other part that I definitely missed, so here on the side where you have these wings and then across the back through here and then just little accents here, this is all made from Cordura, genuine Cordura as well. I mean, getting back 
to the materials. I know I spent a long time on it, but the materials on there are chef's kiss. So opening this back up again. Now it's not what you class as a full clamshell. I think if something's on your chest like this, you don't want it to be a full clamshell. Uh, so when you open it, you just have to, you have to make sure you do open it a little bit. On the inside, all of the mesh that is used is really nice, tough mesh. Uh, and if there are expandable sections like this that pull out rather than just having um, a piece of static webbing across the top this does have a little bit of give and stretch in there so that you can put in a little bit more if needs be but what it also means is that when something's not in there that it sits reasonably flat so this is that back panel where I can fit my mobile phone into if I turn this round then there are two additional pockets that are in here both of these have zips on them uh, this one here you can see that I can fit my wallet in there if I needed to absolutely no issues whatsoever uh, and I can put my mobile phone, not my mobile phone, sorry, I can put my keys in there, you can put some AirPods in there. Um, yeah, really nice. The little detail that I love in here, you guys know I like my military style backpacks. The lining on here, it's like, it's like multicam. But it's, it's not, it's orange multicam. So hopefully you can see there, there's different bits of dark oranges, light oranges, and then kind of plummy style red colors. Love it, absolutely love it. That again, coming back to the attention to detail, love that part. Now what I'm do, gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put this on, mainly so that it can help me with my hands at this point. So here at the front, this is, this is the, this is the black magic. This is the expandable section that you have with this. And there's a couple of ways into this. So if it is maybe that you don't have anything in here, for example, if I just wanted to put my mobile phone into this section for now, then I can just, I can just drop, I can just drop that in. I do have something additional in here. So I also have, I have a, I have one of those kind of, it's my Tramontane jacket, Helicontex Tramontane jacket, which is, which is a little jacket that you can just kind of fold up if you're, if you're out doing some walking some days and you think, right, I just need to take something out with me. Put that to one side for a second because we'll come back to that. On the inside, we also have another little maglock um, key slot on there and then you have some really nice Code of Bell branding there as well. Now I'm just going to put this back, I'm just going to put this back in for a second. Now I mentioned, so this is, as it, as it stands, this is roughly 2.3 litres. You've probably got maybe say half a litre here at the back, the remaining 1.8 litres is here at the front, but this, as I say, is expandable. So you can open these uh, open these little clips here. You also have some clips here at the side, and this opens out like a roll top bag. So if I wanted to add more to this, it's exactly the same opening as here. So let's take this off for a second and put it so that it's like that. Now you can see where this full seven liters is. So here I've got my, I've got my little kind of jacket. I could easily put two or three of these jackets in here. I could put a camera in here for the day. I could put, well, yeah. I, well, I'll tell you what, let's see what we can. I'll put my mobile phone back in there. Where's my wallet gone? Put my wallet back in there. This will zip up the same AquaGuard zippers that you've got on there. They want to make sure whatever is in there is nice and safe. Then roll this back up. I've actually got it upside down a second. Roll this back up. Click on the compression straps at the side. Compression straps that you've got here at the front. Put those back on. And there you go. That's the witchcraft. That's that's just crazy that they've been able to put that in here. Now what I will say is so when it sits on, so it does have a completely flat back and now I do say that this is I think this is important for this and the strap for this is actually um, it's not centered dead in the center it's actually lifted up just ever so slightly towards the top one of the issues oh, I dropped it then for a second one of the issues that I've talked about in the past about um, uh, waste bags that you can put more into is the fact that they have a tendency to roll like this So what you'll find is if you put a little bit too much in here It does want to ever so slightly roll 
However, because these have been moved closer to the top, the weight is closer to the bottom. So when it's on your chest, like this, and it's sat there, it doesn't want to roll. It almost kind of defies physics. It seems in my head that this should want to, there should be some sort of torque that's pulling this forward. But because again, as I mentioned, the weight's closer towards the bottom, it sits absolutely perfectly. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit strappy. I'm not sure about this on the front. Well, you can actually take these off. So here at the top, you have these two loops on both sides. Uh, this is made with the same, um, what's it, the same Hypalon style material, uh, and it's held on. So at the bottom, you have some hook and loop. And then there is a press stud, so you can press that on. If you do need to expand this, because you very well need to expand this, if you have got more in here, then you can do. And instead, you just have this daisy chain on the bottom here, which also has a nice and discreet little um, um, Code of Bell logo on it. But you can put this back on again, like so. The hook and loop will then hold that in place as well. You can then slide the G-hook back on there as well. And then you, yeah, you are, you're good to go. Now there are a few other little features on here that I've kind of mentioned. So here on the side, as part of the waist strap, uh, there is, uh, there is an, an extra zip on here. So at the moment I have one of these little charges in here. So if I'm out and about and need to charge my phone, I've always got something that I can charge them with. Whether you're a lefty or a righty, it's identical on both sides. So on this side as well, if I open this back up, you have exactly the same pocket. The lining on the pocket is that same kind of cool orange multicam, which I think is brilliant. Uh, on the back here as well, so if you, I know I mentioned about situational awareness, especially when you're out and about. Um, if you did have your mobile phone and you were concerned, oh, where did I put, oh, it's in the front bit, isn't it? Anyway, um, there is an additional pocket here on the back. So this, there is a, the, there's like a little garage here that your, uh, your, your zip will fit into. Then that will zip across and then you have an additional pocket here at the back. Again, perfect for things like your mobile phones and keeping that out of way of, of hands if you don't want people to get close to you. And then you have another little grab handle here at the top too. Now the waist belt on this lends itself to as many different ways as you can possibly think to carry this. With it being a, f a fanny pack, which again, I feel kind of strange saying funny pack uh, with this being a waist pack if you wanted to of course you can wear this sorry pull out the wrong way you can wear this as a waist pack um, I have it expanded out at the moment it's way too big to be a waist pack uh, but if I wanted to I can pull that all the way down and then it's good to go right there at the nape of my back if I pull this back out again and then we undo this Again, I keep pulling that the wrong way. Um, you can still wear this as a cross body bag, which I think nowadays is probably how most people uh, wear these. For me, as I mentioned, I'm kind of left-handed. Uh, so having it on like this is great. It, it, it sits there perfectly on my back, but when I need to, then I can just swing this round. Um, I do sometimes wear this whilst driving. I think it's one of the also the other beauties of packs like this. If you're the type of person that lives maybe in an environment where you're concerned that you may need to get out of a vehicle quickly and take your valuables with you, then this is one of the best uses for waste packs like this. But what it also does is it comes with uh, with a with a, with a stabilizer belt. So the way in which this works is so. You have this length at the moment it's about it's about 18 inches and then here at the bottom there is there is a loop so it passes through this loop then when it is on or at least it's on here at the back there is then another clip here on the front and this just goes round there so if if you're out and about and you're climbing over things or you I don't know whatever it is you're doing you're out having a bit of a rave um, then yeah it will keep it nice and safe I suppose you could do it this way but it's a it's a bit of a, a it's just like 
and I'm trying to fasten a bra, maybe if I was wearing a bra, which I'm not wearing a bra by the way, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, it's so much fun doing things on fit on camera because when you try and do something on camera, it's always ten times harder than when you do it off camera. It's a strange phenomenon, but taking the extra strap off isn't difficult at all unless somebody points a camera at you and then says, hey, why don't you try and do that? See if you can take it off. So there you go. There is a distinct level of witchcraft put into this. I talk about this when I talk about companies like Abel Carry, about Alpaca. These are all companies that have nerds and geeks working for them. And I, I say that, I always say that with the highest regards because it's nerds and geeks that are pushing the boundaries to make things different. Why have we done, well, we've always done it like that. Why have we always done it like that? Well, because we have, okay. Why don't we do it like this? Ah, oh, never thought about it like that, let's try it. And they make something, they make different iterations of that, they make things better, things evolve, and this is how life gets better, evolution. I feel like I'm at the science class there for, there for a second. But I think this is the black magic, this is the witchcraft that Code of Bell have put into this. You, you can 100% see why they have garnered so many awards for this one pack. And yeah, it definitely is something special. Now I also want to say at this point a huge thank you to Code Bell for reaching out to me and asking if I'd like to voice my opinion on this. They were very open. If I didn't like it, they'd say, say you don't like it. I don't know how I wouldn't like this being a bag geek. It's absolutely amazing that I've been had the opportunity to test something like this. Working here on YouTube is it's a big thing for me and I've you know I, I thoroughly enjoy it and I hope my enthusiasm comes out to you guys when you see me making content on bags like this but imagine when you receive an email from one company that you absolutely love and respect and think I, I, yeah I, I can't believe they've they've reached out to me so I want to say a huge, very humble thank you to Code of Bell for reaching out, uh, for allowing me to make some content on this. It genuinely is a stunning crossbody bag, and I hope that comes across, uh, across to you guys in the content that I'm making today. Now, of course, I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from Code of Bell and you can see some of their other bags um, that they make. And hopefully you can geek out as much as I do when you receive yours and you kind of go, yeah, there's something special here. Um, but I'll also leave some of my links below so you can see more from me here on Moreland DC and also my sister channel, Moreland Tactical. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC while I take a walk around my woods and have a further geek out on this amazing bag. So yeah, there you go. Stay safe. 350, 130 by 50. 350, 130 by 50. And that 50 expands to 160. 350, 130, 50. So as we usually do, we will go through some measure and on YouTube. This is one of the most respected and rewarded um, Let's face it, the fanny pack market as it stands, I keep saying fanny pack, I know it's the American way of saying it, but I generally here in the UK we say bum bag. Fanny refers to vaginas. Damn it. I can't keep saying fanny pack. It feels wrong. Fanny pack. Oh. What was that? unexpanded version. There are some very excited dogs walking around the woods today so if you can hear them in the background I do apologize. But this is expandable up to 70. Oops. 
the one of the most high points of my YouTube here on you I think it's gonna rain, it's gone very dark. You know when you can you can taste it in the air. Still got another piece of content I need to make, but anyway. I probably geeked out a lot on this towards the end. I genuinely am always absolutely knocked off my feet, humbled whenever somebody gets in touch. And for me, this this year when Code of Bell got in touch and asked if I'd like to work with them, I was it was one of those life is good kind of moments. So yeah. Hope you're all having a cracking week. Actually, I'm not even sure when this goes out. It might go out the weekend. It might go out on the midweek. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, so whenever this does go out, I hope you're all having a great week, folks. Uh, and yeah, see you soon.